Domino's pizza delivery driver in late September. Two more local drivers have fallen victim to armed robberies. And the most recent case occurred late Sunday night in New Orleans East on Bundy Roadway, uh, where police say two men held the 66 year old driver at gunpoint before fleeing with his belongings. Reporter Andy Cunningham is live in New Orleans East now with more on a growing fear for area delivery drivers. Andy? Hey there again, Scott and Sala. These kinds of incidents, including last night's here in the East, certainly create additional safety concerns for these drivers who, as we know, are simply doing their job. Police were called to Lake Wind East Department shortly after 11 Sunday night, where they located a 66 year old man who told officers while making a delivery, two unknown men approached him, displayed a handgun, demanded his belongings, then ran off. It's totally wrong because they just try to make a living. Residents of the apartment complex were discussing the robbery Monday, bringing back memories of just about a month ago when another man wasn't so lucky. Oh, man, it's just sad. It's sad. It's something needs to be done. The victim in this case, who works for Papa John's on Bullard Avenue, was not harmed. But again, not the case for Richard Yeager. The 35 year old Domino's pizza delivery driver was murdered and carjacked in September in Mid City. Two juveniles are now awaiting trial in that case, where they will be tried as adults. I mean, it's not safe. At all. I mean, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. This former delivery driver who asked we not identify her said a close call of her own one night led her to walk away from the job she once loved. It is a very dangerous job. Any delivery job. She drove for Domino's, a company which requires its drivers carry $20 or less for their driver's safety. You're not going to get much. Nothing at all. I mean, unless they want the pizza. I mean, but other than that, you're not getting anything. So you're taking people's lives and all this for 20 bucks. That, that's just ridiculous. That's crazy. Now, I did by phone today talk to the local CEO of the Domino's franchise here in New Orleans. He said he talked to the owner of the Papa John's earlier today, and they and others here in this industry that requires delivery drivers are constantly talking about ways to enhance safety for all of their employees. Reporting live on your side from the east, I'm Andy Cunningham. Back to you.